When logging into your user area, you should click on Legal Proceedings to look for the title linked to the decision against which you would like to file an appeal. By filling out the eight-digit CPVO file number, you can easily locate the title in question. You can also search for it based on its denomination, breeder's reference or species. Once the title appears in your search, you should select the title or titles on your left-hand side. Then click on Legal Actions on your right-hand side. A new screen now pops up, listing all possible legal actions available to you regarding this particular title. Click on Appeal. You can also get more general information on the appeal procedure by clicking on the link below to our CPVO website. You can now file an appeal by filling out a contested decision number, as well as your name and address. You can also provide the name and address of your procedural representative, which is mandatory in case you or your company are based outside of the European Union. In the latter case, you should also provide a power of attorney document. A PDF doc template is provided by clicking on this link. In this form, you will also have to explain whether you would like to have the decision in question annulled or amended. You can also select Other in the drop-down menu whereupon you'll have to specify which specific redress you seek. You will also be asked for the date when the decision was served to you. Furthermore, you are required to state the reason for your appeal. Please note that you can also add documents to this effect. Finally, you will be asked for the language in which you wish the appeal to be treated. Any of the 24 working languages of the European Union can be selected. Now all you have to do is click on Proceed. You have now successfully submitted an appeal. You can immediately download a confirmation of receipt document in PDF format. The Board of Appeal will now begin to examine your request for an appeal on its merits and will reach out to you via the Communication Centre in your user area.